and that I'm still alive. And I won't tell you why. I first met you in 1995. At this time he had lost his wife. He was in very bad condition. Already walking the roads of perdition. The roads of perdition. In October 1998, a Sunday evening, then it was quite late. I saw Jim again on television. They had caught him and put him into prison. Put him into prison. He was born in a small town near the sea. On a miserable first of March in 1973. His father was a true fisherman. And his mom were at the cannery packing sardine cans. It was a sticky summer night. The moon was shining high and bright. Jim was walking his way to the end, and he met the devil. And he shook his hand. His white and cold dead hand. Said, well, Jim, poor boy, I've something for you, a poor boy's toy. I want to give you this golden knife and make you feel good for the first time in your life, for the first time in your lonesome life. He was born in a small town near the sea. First of March in 1973. His father was a true fisherman, and his mom worked the cannery packing sardine cans. And the judge said that he had killed someone else's wife. Stabbed her in the heart with that golden knife. Jim sat in the courtroom, just smiling all over his face, like he would like to kill the whole human race. And 666, he had her written on with her blood on the floor. And 666, he yelled in that prison corridors. And 666 was the only thing left in his head. Oh, 666 drove old Jim mad.